Yeah, welcome to Virgin Spend Falls. And yeah. this is a special episode for the first time for this channel. We're yeah. gonna review fragrance in English. So for our Indonesian audience, yeah. it's gonna be something new. Uh, and if you like this concept, we're gonna from now on we're yeah. gonna produce the video both yeah. in English and also Bahasa. in Bahasa. Yeah. And for this is actually for reaching our uh, international audience yeah. as well. So because we also saw on YouTube. Analytic. Yeah. Uh, there are some viewers in, in America and in, in Malaysia, in, in Malaysia and other countries. So it's for you guys. And special because the, the fragrance we're gonna review is also a fragrance that is well recognized uh, since 1964. Brut. By Unilever. <laughs> so, uh, Brut, uh, the history, Brut actually uh, released by Parfum Prestige from France. Uh, but since the early 90s, it was created by Unilever. Yeah. And since then, they also produced this eau de toilette. Not only the eau de cologne or the aftershave. Yeah. So, what's the genre of this? Uh, I think it's aromatic fuji. It's aromatic fuji. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it has a barbershop kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, I think it's really masculine. The name itself speaks uh, masculinity, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And also the tagline, it was, yeah. it, it, it's, I remember it's, it's stated, as the essence of man. Okay. The essence of man. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Well, let's give it a try for the opening. Yeah, uh, right off the bat, I can smell like a uh, kind of uh, soapy kind of feeling. Yeah. Well, that is the difference between uh, Brut and also the other aromatic uh, Fuji fragrance like Azura Puram and also what else? Uh, Draco Noir. Yeah. They have their own. Uh, uniqueness. As a program, as you, as you know, probably it has the liquor vibe yep. from anise, anise. That's, very, that's very strong. Meanwhile, Brut, the main player is lavender. Yep. And the freshness from bergamot and also anise, it well blended. Yep. It blends really well. That's why it's, it's so smooth for, for the quality, for the price, it's so cheap, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and for the fragrance uh, this age, I think what's most interesting is uh, this has like enough or the right amount of sweetness, right amount of exactly. floralness. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not dated. Exactly. And it's not overly sweet, yeah. like um, modern fragrances, yeah. but it's not also too bitter or too sour, like let's say 1970s, 80s uh, uh, fragrances. Yeah. It's not too strong. It's it just right. Yeah. And um, this fragrance, uh, when, 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 you, when you have a fuller experience after the freshness and soapiness in, in the opening, in the middle, it has yeah. the floral quality. Yeah, the from, from the Ylang Ylang. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you're familiar with the f uh, female fragrance, such as Chanel number no. 5, yeah. it has also Ylang Ylang. Yeah. And this one also has Ylang Ylang and Geranium. Yeah. So, Geranium is very classic. I couldn't find modern fragrances uh, that contains Geranium. Yeah, at least on the base. Yeah. yeah. And when it, when, when it dries down, it dries down to a, I think, a normal uh, romantic Fuji, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like Okmos, and then the mask. Tonka bean. Yeah. There's a sweetness. A slight sweetness that is just right. It's from Tonka Bean, and also oak moss, uh, musk, yeah. sandalwood, vetiver. But vetiver is not really pronounced in this fragrance. But overall, the experience of when you're wearing this is just like you feel good. Yeah, yeah. It's fresh, uplifting, yeah. as as you said before, and it's just uh, a staple for me. So that's why, because the tagline is the essence of man. Yeah. So what about the performance? The performance, that's the only downside, I think. Uh, the current formulations, uh, you know, not only brood, I think modern fragrances tend to be very weak compared to the classic one. Yeah. Uh, sadly, uh, after two or three hours, it's, it's just vanished. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why. 
that's the, the sad part. Yeah, but yeah, for the price, I think it's kind of ten dollars. Yeah, you can you can find it in drugstore. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's the plus point because it's so cheap you can just reapply, and maybe you can you can also wear the the, the body spray before you apply yeah. this fragrance, or maybe you can also uh, layer this fragrance with another aromatic future fragrances, yeah. such as Azura Puram. That's that's our favorite, and um, yeah. What about the score, the rating for this one out of ten? Uh, okay, before that, I'm gonna ask you what about the quality? The quality, yeah. the quality for this extremely cheap price, the yeah. quality is excellent. Yeah, 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 it's smooth. It's really smooth. Well blended, and also it's just mass appealing. Yeah, you just can't stop smelling it. Yeah, yeah. So you can't stop smelling it. It's just well put together kind of fragrance. And if you remember Home Alone movie, yeah, yeah in the 90, early 1990s, Kevin actually pretending to be his dad. Yeah, and using the, the brief. Yeah, but the other time, it's the aftershave. The, the, the shape of the bottles looks like the Heineken beer. Yeah, the green, with the green bottle. The green bottle, yeah. And yeah, this is amazing fragrance for $10, uh, even less, depending on uh, where you live. Uh, it has great quality, nice smell, the essence of men, what, what more can you ask? Yeah. And then the performance, sadly, is not the best. But you get more, uh, way more than you pay for. Yeah. Then and then, do, do we recommend this fragrance? Yes, we recommend this fragrance for you guys. And that was it for us. The rating now. Uh, I could give this nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. If the performance is a lot better than this one, probably uh, ten out of ten. It's easily a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Proof. Fantastic fragrance. Thanks so much for watching. Um, this is the first video in English for our international audience and for Indonesian audience. If you like this kind of uh, content, we are gonna produce the video, two videos, yeah? Yeah. Both in English and also in Bahasa at the same time. Uh, so we upload two videos every week. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you like, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Thank you.